Hey guys, Jack Griffin here, and welcome to a new video. Today is Beast Quest Beast Review Series 12, The Darkest Hour. Now, if you've seen my live stream <clears throat> I did with Adam and Lucas and Neuron Alone, which go check that out, by the way, you would know that um, this got second to last. Um, spoilers. Um, now, here's the thing. My ranking was a bit rushed because I didn't. Li I literally, at that night, we literally, I'm a Trump, so I just made a quick list. And I do like this series, but I think my ranking was rushed. So there's that. But you know what? Let's get straight into it. So um, also, like I said, don't forget to go check out Adam Ferns, Giranona, and Lucas Green. Just going to make sure it wasn't blurry. They're amazing Beast Quest YouTubers, so go check them out. So let's get to it. Right. First book, Solak, Scourge of the Sea. But also, I um, also will talk about the book. So, basically, cock, shit, tit, taking right, literally, um, shit, tit, shit, starting right off from the first, from the end of series 11, <clears throat> and Adoro, the, um, Jezrin, the, um, head of the court, has stripped Adoro of his wizard's powers. Yeah. Cock. And, shit, tit, and Kenza and Sampeo have unleashed... Shit, tit. Six lightning beasts, which were ancient foes that Taladon fought. And basically... And f the Free Kingdom... Panty. They could destroy, like, the whole world. And it's in Free Kingdoms that are getting split up. And a bit weird. Avantia. Gwildor. And... Kate. And Kaonia, as you remember, the kingdom, the world of chaos from series six. So Tom and I have to basically go in a way to um, defeat Kenza and somehow and all that. And defeat the lightning piece and get six lightning tokens. So the first one, one Solak, Scourge of the Sea. Design I gave a seven. It is a giant shark. Um, shit, shit. I love how it has two rows of teeth. Shit. I love the cock, the set. The certain fins it has and um, like the spikes. And for the first shark piece, it's pretty good. Abilities, I gave a six. Um, sh sharp fins, um, sharp teeth, very agile in the water, and that's about it. How I managed to take out crap. Oh, yeah, for the first three books, it takes place in Gwildor. And the fire, I gave a six. Cock. <coughs> Shit. It was all right, but it ended up with Tom Liner throwing something into Solak's mouth and exploding him. Yeah, this one's a bit on and off, honestly. Yeah, I know um, it's very quick. I've been doing these piece reviews really quick. And, big, and I do plan to do several videos tomorrow. And I, pr I promise, including the High School Musical ranking, which I still need to get around to. And uh, I do have an announcement at the end, even though I'm going to wait for that. But anyway, second book. Yep, yep. Carjin the Beast Catcher. Design I gave a six. It's just basically a giant wolf with a net. Nothing to it. Literally, nothing to it. Design I gave a... I'm not, not design, I just said design. Um, abilities I gave a five. Very agile, sharp teeth, sharp claws, and has a net that can trap its... Um, you can catch beasts. Panty. Oh God. And by the way, this had um, crab in it. This one has a mictus in it. And it he um Karjin captured a mictus is um children. <clears throat> Fight I gave a six. <clears throat> Shit tit. I don't remember much, but it ended up with Karjin basically like Elko. Falling on a wooden tree spike and getting impaled and dying. So yeah. Not really much on Karjin. When I read this, I thought this could actually be my least favourite of Series 12. Because, I mean, in a, in a way, not half of me, I hate this beast. Like, this is one of my least favourite beasts of Beast Quest. Total for Karjin, 17 out of 30. Oh, oh, yeah, did I say the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, did I say the total for him, so like... In case I didn't, it's 19 out of 30. 
Cardin is just a werewolf in the net, honestly. Not really much going for him. And out of the top three, which I think the first three are the worst books of series um, 12. The, sorry. I'm so sorry. The third one, I think, is the best one out of these three. That being is Rillia, that creeping menace. Five minutes in and we're in the third book. Yeah. I've got a whole bunch of videos coming out tomorrow. So I might be able to change that. Um, so, sorry. Um, so it's really a design I gave an 8. Oh, can't be shit. I love how you can see like the bones of its flesh. The hair go dripping down her. The horns. Pretty good. Abilities I gave a 7. She can... Panties. Um, pan, panties. Um, panties. Um, she controlled rock. Um, not... The actual rock, the um, the rock beast, like the beast we fought in series five. So she controlled rock, and made him like evil pant panties. And basically, oh, she did anyway. Um, so sharp teeth, sharp claws. I believe she she she. Oh yeah, pant panties. She can fade, so she can like not be touchable. Pant. And that's really about it. She. I think there's like several more abilities, but I haven't read it in a long time, so I forgot. Forgot. This is not very good, isn't it? And the fire gave us six. Shit, cock. cock. Um, I didn't remember much. I've forgotten how. I think Tom ended up breaking all the bones, so it really was weak. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because his invasion made her solid panties, and they just killed her. Yeah, not much. And one big grudge I have against is Rillia. So, she. It told us about the lost seven feast of Gwildor being Kaikron the one-eyed tiger beast, which is a beast I'd so love to see. Because we ne like oh, okay, okay. Koron, but he was a manticore, which technically was a tiger. But still we have not seen a tiger beast since series eight. Cock. Now I don't imagine it to be in a book, mostly a special. Stop. She too. And then Kenza at the end gets one of the fangs of Kaikron. And escapes at the end of the book. We yeah, we never see that fang of Kaikron again. Yeah. What happened? Panties. I mean maybe in the future you could say that Kenza was working on something, but it never got finished. I don't know. Yeah, the total for is really uh, is 21 out of 30. Honestly, panties. If you're wondering why this is so quick, I'm actually really bored with these beasts. But thankfully, the uh, these other beasts are a lot better. Now, now probably my favourite mythical creature ever is a griffin. Half lion, half eagle. Shit. And I'm really sad there's, an, there's, an, there's actually shit. There's panties. Like, there's literally panties. Not one myth that at least has a a griffin in a big role, like a monster fighting. There's never been that, which is the same. But I do know there is a griffin beast in series 27. So I'm looking forward to that when I get around to that. But still, so. Fourth beast, Vigrash the Clawed Eagle. Design I gave a seven. I love the horns it has. Um, she, panties. Like, the wings, and that's about it. Yeah, not really much. Um, uh, <laughs> abilities, I gave a six. Um, it, it can fly. Sharp teeth. Yeah, sharp beak. Sharp claws. Um, thick hide. And yeah, oh, panties, not really much. But the fire, I gave a seven. Shit. Now, Vigrash is where we start revealing some interesting stuff of, like, when Talon defeated. Shit. Oh. And why Vigrash and the other two beasts really, and why these all these other beasts, the ones we've just had, want to kill Tom. Because he's the son of Taladon. Probably one of their greatest enemies. And if they ever had any other enemies. Panties. But still, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess one of their greatest enemies. And he, because Taladon was the one that put them in their prison cells. Yes, there was a prison cell. Shit, panties. Not like proper prison, but still panties. But in a way, imprisoned them. He locked them up, but they were free. So he was the one that put them there in the first place. Panties. Now this one does get dark. Pant. Oh. Hey. <clears throat> Dick. 
but the fight was full of tens penalties. Now, this is where we start. We, we're in Kaonia now. And at the end, the um, queen's daughter gets kidnapped. The princess gets kidnapped by some Paeonians, pirates. But don't worry, the next book focuses on that. But Vigrash, I actually have pity for. It's a very underrated beast, but I did enjoy my Griffin beast. Turn for Vigrash, 20 out of 30. Um, <clears throat> design was there. Yeah, abilities were, hmm. But fight was full of action and it was good. Good. Fifth one, Merka the Ice Horse. Design I gave an 8. I love all the horns it has, the spikes, the fire breathing out of its nostrils, and the um, the claws on its feet. I'm so sorry about that. I'm trying my best to control it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, okay. Abilities I gave a seven. Shit. Tit. Uh, very agile. Um, claws on its um, um, feet. It can shoot spikes, which I believe can make an icy like prison around you, which is cool. And also, it's very hard to go on it or touch it because it's so slippery. And yeah, fire is not melting the ice. Shoot. Um, I was just um, listening to something. Shit. Uh, so, oh my god, sorry, I'm listening. My sister's listening to music upstairs. So there's that. And, and it's a really good song, so yeah, I'm just listening. listening. But still, the fight was a seven. I think it ended with Merkin falling off an ice bridge and collapsing to his death. Probably shattering because he's made of ice. Shit. But I do remember liking it. And because one of the... It does come out like the prologue. Merkin, like, imprisoned one of the pirates. And then later in the book, we... Tom frees that... Um, that um, imprisoned pirate. Though I don't really know what happened to him. And we saved the princess. So happy days. Oh, also in Vigrash, I forgot to mention, they use Vespic's wing as a weapon, which we have not seen since Series 6, so it's good. But Merka, I was hesitating to put in second place, but who knows? Penalties for the ranking. Total for Merka, 22 out of 30. One of the best beasts of Series 12, and one of them I, I really was proud of. Right, the finale of this series, Karma the Faceless Beast. Designer Game and Aid. I mean, uh, it's half creepy man, half spider. I love the hair dripping down it, the whip, the spikes on the spider body. It just looks cool. cool. Shit. Abilities are a seven. Shit. Um, it can shoot like this sticky web thing, has a whip. Um, very agile and um, sharp fingernails. Oh, Panties. Um, fire gave a seven. It was in like this. Like, cellar, I think, like, in a mine entrance, which would be creepy if there was a giant spider there. I'm not afraid of spiders in real life, although well, my sister is, so she'd probably be terrified of that. She does. Um, she does. hang on, I just forgot something. Oh, oh, panties. Panties, panties, but still, this bee's... In my opinion, <clears throat> was a great finale, actually. God. Full attention. We do get the full truth. Panties. Shit. This book is where t we find out the full truth on two occasions. One, we find out the real reason of Taladon and why these beasts actually, in a way, fully, like, we fully know the answer why he imprisoned them and why they, how they hate him. And Tom defeated them. God. Shit. But the second truth is a big plot twist was a big um twist in the story panties it turns out jezrin the leader of the wizards called that turn that set tom on his quest which by the way set from with involved in so lack which i'm in a way pleased about even though it's not really a big role but he did fight him but i don't think he really helped panties it's a big twist at the very end like panties about like the end of the um oh yeah sorry about that that word um, the end of the second to last chapter, that Jezrin is evil and he, he's working with Ken Van Sampo and he's betrayed the wizard's court. Panties. Panties, but yeah. God. And, the, and then that's it. I believe they have this fight with, um, Daotech helps them and Petra. 
she, because over the series Petra does become good and she does help even though she's still mischievous and that's one of the reasons I can't wait to talk about series 19 when I get around to it but still total for karma 22 out of 30 it's a great good finale to a decent series it's not one of my favorite Beast Quest series but I did enjoy it and personally, panties, panties. If I if I had to say two, at least two books, they, I'd get rid of. Definitely, so lacking Carjin. I think they were the major letdowns of the um, thing. However, I think the one that disappointed me most was actually Carjin. She's having the lowest score of the series. <clears throat> and honestly. We're on fifteen minutes going into sixteen. Yeah. If you if you're thinking why is this rushed, I'm sorry, but yeah. Panties. Despite I don't think it deserved second to last. I'm not a big fan of this series. And series eleven was just better than it because I mean I mean you have Brutus and Serpio and Toron and Mm, flame on and mm, Elko and Tarok panties, but at least Brutus was a good one panties. But anyway, time for the total. The total for series twelve, the darkest hour, is a and and I'm saying thankfully series thirteen is better, which I can't wait to get to that tomorrow. I'm being serious. Total for, but anyway, total for the, the series, series 12 is 121 out of 180. Not the worst one. Panties, actually. I'll need to check in a minute. Panties. And this has, it's at least surpassed series 1 and 3. Panties. And you know what? I just read it. This has gotten a high score in series 2. No way am I liking this pattern in series two. But anyway, time to get on to the ranking of this one. I do not care. Sorry about this. I'm just doing something. Cock. Right. It's time. So. My least favourite of of series twelve is Card I'm joking. Just managed to, but still my least favourite Solak Scorch of the Sea. Despite having a decent design and just normal shark abilities. Panties. I didn't like the fight where it just exploded in the mouth. And when I first read this, because I mostly thought it was more medieval like I of course I wasn't a big fan of it. And funny thing, I read this one in a when I had a sleepover with my sister in her room when we got up our little pop up tent. I mean, it's only like like what like oh, and a can of size is like this big. Yeah, probably panties, panties. But anyway, so but anyway, so yeah, um, I don't remember being okay with it, panties. But that's what it is. It's just okay. They also made a mistake on the back. Putting Gorgonia. When Gorgonia had nothing to do with this series at all. Panties. Although it would have been nice to go back there. Actually, I didn't enjoy series 3. But still, yeah. So, like, my least favourite. Fifth place. Just getting through. Karj and the Beast Catcher. I think I can only describe this in about two sentences. Sentences. Apparently. Two sentences. <laughs> sentences, panties. Okay, designer and abilities. And one sentence. But fight wasn't that good and could do with improving. I'm not joking. That's actually all I can say about it. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of Karjin. Fourth place is his really the creeping menace. Now, this one... Shit. Being better than Solak and Karjin, and the abilities being 
really good, and the design being one of the best designs of the series. <clears throat> However, what I cannot say uh, shit, is that he left off, off a big cliffhanger, which we've never gone back to with Kykron, and apparently I didn't find the fight all that entertaining. I mean, it was it was good. I mean, if I had to rate, I'd give it a six. It was all right, but I don't know. Penalties. Third place. Now, you're thinking it'd be going in order, but just for this one, no. Third place, Merc of the Ice Horse. This is one of the better books of Series 12. <clears throat> Having one of the best designs, really cool ability, and a really good fight. And I think, out of all the beasts to kidnap the princess, penalties. Would I want this one to do it? Yeah, I imagine having a fa can you imagine like a fairy tale and rescue her from this ferocious carnivorous giant ho ice horse. I mean, serious, I actually wouldn't mind this like in a very fairy tale. This was really good. Panties. This one was one of the best books of series twelve, and actually is one of the only things keeping this series um above. Second place is Vigrash the Clawed Eagle. Panties. Now you may be like, oh, you just said you love your griffin, so yeah. And then and then you the smart people, not saying no one's done, but like panties. A lot some people will be like, Oh yeah, is that why your username's Jack Griffin? Yes. I call myself Jack because my real last name, which I'm real. My actual real name. Last name is Mary. And I was not really a big fan with that. I was not very happy with it. So I was like, if I had to have a nickname, what would I call myself? And I just thought, Jack Griffin. Like, my favourite mythical creature, Griffin. Jack Griffin. That would sounds pretty good. The only thing I didn't want it to be similar to was um, Peter Griffin or any of the Family Guy. I'd never seen Family Guy. Um, because I'm too young for one, and two, I don't seem interesting. I'm sorry. Penalties. Anyway, so back to Vigrash. This, um, book was having a decent design and abilities while being the weakest thing, just having a normal griffin. Penalties. The fight was one of the best fights and one of the darkest. Like, this book was a bit dark, honestly, Penalties. I'd love to know, even for Odin, like, how dark could they make a Beast Coast book? Like, so scary. But still, like, what is the max height that you can go for scary, but still keep it child-friendly, panties? Probably a six. Where they could make a Beast Coast book that's so terrifying. Not really like a Goosebumps book. Well, maybe. I mean, they did a child-friendly, and look at them now. Maybe like a Goosebumps book. Who knows, panties. But still... Vigrash, dark book. Oh, wait, that beautiful sunset. Yep, this is like one of my favorites. But if you've seen the live stream, you already know my favorite book of series 12 is Karma the Faceless Beast. Once again, the finale. Panties. And actually, actually, the last time a book was in the finale was um, series 9. But anyway. Panties. Properly, like, when I looked in the AIDS LBs, when I got it for Christmas in 2019, from one of my aunts, aunts, and I looked through, when I came to this piece, in K okay, panties, could they show, like, I don't know that, it'll show a black and white, just faded, um, illustration of, um, this piece, sometimes, if you look at it, they'll show two, panties, it was a giant one, but it showed a reveal of Karma's face, I was terrified, um, when I saw this beast face, like, I was scared. And actually, you know what? Oh, okay, guys, I was wrong. Um, it was actually on, I think, um, uh, sorry, guys, I was wrong. It was the end of chapter six. See, panties. like at the ver at going into chapter seven, like this is Karma's face. Are you ready? That was cr that creeped me out. 
I don't care what anyone says. This creeped me out, panties. And back then, 2019, I was only nine years. No, oh, well, well, well. panties. Panties. Oh no! And I was only and I was ten years old back then. I, this only happened three years ago, but I was terrified. <laughs> Not like full on terror, like they're nightmares, of course, but like I was still, I was like, oh god. It reminded me of Equinus when I first read Equinus and saw the illustrations. Oh god, panties. That's a man who complain. Sometimes the illustrations can give you nightmares. But anyway, Karma, <clears throat> shit, panties, had a great fight and a great like abilities uh, with us being a half um, spider, half man beast, like a new hybrid. This one was really good and a really probably out of all of them the only in a way creepy one. But yeah, that was karma panties. So um sorry if this review was boring and wasn't really as lighted as I um, was. One because it's almost eight o'clock, which is when I go to bed. And also because I started at like eight thirty seven panties. Well no at the time. Probably like forty, so I have to hurry. I'm um, sorry. I do plan to do some videos tomorrow because um, and the, the and those will probably be the last panties and oh yeah, just I say just before I go, I've got a few announcements to make. Number one, um, yeah. oh shit, panties. Soon, I will be going on a holiday. Well, not really a holiday, just a tr trip to Emskek Ness panties. So I will be uploading for a while. Um, but I'm sorry I haven't been posting most of the time throughout the Easter holidays. Um, panties. Like I said, panties. Like I said, like I just said, sorry I haven't been posting as much of the Easter holidays. I thought I would be able to get more time in, but because I've had some busy stuff to do, I have not really. But I've got some announcements coming up for future videos. Tomorrow, it will include series 13 and 14 Beast Review. Yep, yeah, the final, um six book series in the beast quest and the um first four book series and uh, i will also be doing the um high school musical um ranking that i need to get to panties and just um some announcements for um future series i have gotten sequest series seven and eight i'm currently reading to the first series seven so we'll get those out soon it will take me a while because since i'm still on, on the first book yeah, panties. But I've got an announcement. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something and um we'll see what happens. Percy Jackson. Yeah, I've read the first two books, you get it. So in the future, I'm going to be doing in a way some Percy Jackson videos. Probably not a lot. Panties. But uh, But however, panties. I'll probably do some separate reviews on um, the books, maybe. But my big video, I'm going to will be, a, as soon as I finish, because I'm currently on the Titan's Curse, third book, Panties. I will be doing a full-on ranking of all the Percy Jackson books from, from one to five. One to five, that out of the original Percy Jackson series, from my least favourite to my favourite. As soon as I figured out what my least favourite and my favourites are. So that's a, um, something to look forward to. Panties. But with that being said, since I probably am going to go now, that is all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Press that notification bell down below. Panties. Please help us because we are on the way to 50 subscribers. We're on 33 subscribers now. Panties. Only um, now, 17 subscribers away from 50 subscribers. Can we reach it? I really hope we can. Um, I'm, and if you keep hearing some certain stuff, I'm going to try my best to control it. I don't know how it happens. It just comes and goes at this one. I don't know why. But, my name's been Jack Griffin. I'll, and I'll see you guys next time. Buh-bye.